Hello there, everyone, and welcome. I am Bogward. Playing as Doge Leon the Wise, we have just become a falconer. We are we're beating cancer. So I'm working. I'm happy about that. Our nephews are heir. He has no sons of his own, which is a little disappointing. Gandalfer, Marshal Svipjord, foreign trade route. I would like compensation if you're going to do such things, sir. And I was refused. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got a one eyed cardinal. And he's a wicked priest. Interesting. There we go, give you that job. Mm -hmm. Let's take another peek at the world. Oh! North Africa looks mostly unified. Let's see. Uh, wife Khan Iani of Bulgaria. Various experience meeting her people. The Bulg oh, right. Khan Iani of Bulgaria. Oh, down over there. All right, you know what? We could be friends. So it looks like the Caliph. Oh. All right. So the Caliph. Uh, Faddle the Magnificent. All right. So. Okay, so this is the this is in fact the guy who um, caused the Shia uprising, the successful one, and he has created, as you'll see here, the Fadlid Empire, the Empire of Hispania. Well, well done, sir. Well done. Uh, meanwhile, in the east, things are going quite poorly. That's Sulamids. Hello. Complaining about his dark dungeon? Well, you know what? How about the Oubliette? These other patricians would just not give me an excuse. Ah, there we are. Philippos. We got our trade post up. <laughs> trade zones. Trade zones. Trade zones. There we go. Just need a couple more, and we'll have a trade route leading all the way over here. Should be very nice. Mm -hmm. Ah, so yes, the Silk Road. This is kind of one of the neat things about how the Silk Road operates, right? If there's stu uh, war going on, right, like here. The Silk Road stops them from traveling down that. So basically, diverting the wealth of the Silk Road, these paths. It's a neat little mechanic. I enjoy it. The Lombards have been being pretty strong. Five thousand men, four and a half gold a, a month. Kind of embarrassing, really. Trade post of Philopolis has got its good, good, good. Oh, family income, 80 gold. Get the merchant port going. There we go. Mm -hmm. 
Right, ah, Town Influence. Perfect time to be doing this. Bam! Town Influence level... Oh. A Jewish exile has come to my court, fleeing persecution. A Jewish shrewd hunchback. Alright. Giza of Razdpur. Hello, good sir. You are good at what you do. I mean, really good. So good, bam, you're on my council. Mm. Just, just make people like me. That's all I ask. Nothing crazy. Daughter. Too many daughters. Come on, Maurizio. You're named for our father. Or my father. He had sons. Why can't you? Ugh. Ugh. Hmm. Alright, so now we can get a university. Which I'm highly tempted to take. Gives us more economic tech points. It's expensive. But the earlier I get it, the more tech points it ends up giving me, right? Mm. Any plots? Just a lot of murder plots. I got my prisoners who are going to stay there. Thank you very much. Mm -mm. Night? Oh, nearly 20 ducats a month. It's very pleasing to me. That's fine. That's fine. Oh. Can't I have... Oh. For when I thought I could have a... Um, a court dwarf. But apparently not. Ooh. Of vassals, a notorious glutton, is invited to a banquet. Uh, the banquet of fed villages. Scold our host for his sins. Am I that kind of guy? Nope, I'm greedy. Keep quiet and good. I'm a, I'm a, I'm not a believer. I'll keep quiet. I'm not worried about that. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, half brother. You need to get married, too. Mm, you know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Mm. Though I must pay a bride price to arrange this, I will pay it gladly. <laughs> So we are, we're, we're a good organizer, we're a heavy infantry leader, we're 62 years of age, we enjoy falconry, we are a bit of a scholar. We're a, we're a fairly well-rounded individual, I dare say. Mm. Mm. Meanwhile... The Galician Conquest of Kiev, okay. And a Serbian Revolt for Serbia. Hmm. Well. If he loses, it gives me an opportunity to take more land, right? Mm -hmm. Speaking of more land... There's a revolt underway. My half sister is off. There we go. <laughs> so this is one of those weird little um, 
glitches that comes up sometimes is because of the order of how it registers my accepting. He has married her, and it would be it would not be in his best interest for his queen to marry him. Ah oh, well. My half sister sharing the throne of Germany. Not bad for a bunch of merchants, I dare say. Yeah, there we go. Trade zone. Time to go a foreign trade route. Come on, Count, give me some cash. Ah, sir, nobody wants to give me money. Question is, how is your? Oh, okay. It's keeping his decadence down. So that was always the thing that bugged me about the Muslim uh, gameplay mechanics. I think they fixed it now. Uh, there used to be... Um, like, basically, any of your male dynasty members who wasn't a counter hire, right? Could start to give you decadence, causing you to suffer terrible, terrible doom. So if you had the very bad luck of one of your family members ending up in a distant place where you could just have kids and kids and kids. We'd get out of control. You couldn't murder them all in time and oh, there's just no way to stop it. It was it was annoying to play. It was annoying to play. Or you were constantly murdering every, you know, you you take over, right? And then you just try and murder all of your brothers. I'll buy him a new toy. You know, I don't like this Either, either he's got, he loses a toy. It's either in the garbage or you buy him a new toy. And either way, it makes him fussy. It's, it's not good. It's not good. But I do like this. I like to see these things collapsing. See, 4%. He's keeping that under control. 17. The third person to take up the mantle of the Arabian Empire... Playful, timid affection. I think that makes you a diplomat, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Mm. Right, cash is growing. You recall what we're doing? We're saving up for that, uh... Hmm. We are saving up for the... University. like how much money they're sending my way. It does please me. Also, I should be looking into building some more city. 841 as well. Mm, expensive. Why must everything in life be so expensive? Alright, so we have a commanding lead still. Six of six. Good. Good relations improving. Mm -hmm. He's got another one being built. Okay. The participle. Oh, what's this? Tertia Giza, the peasants of Venezia have certain of light. Or the peasants meet up to dance, feast, and pair up for future marriages. Ooh. Local tax up 15% by getting harvest festivals. I will support those festivals as we continue to enjoy a flourishing, flourishing Venezia. Alright, halfway. So we get what, 200 a year? Trade route. Come on, give me, give me, give me some cash, buddy. Ah. Taking up the job of rulership. Oh. Oh, yes. A wealthy noble looking to escape consequences of indiscretions against the Orsiolo family will be paid to go free. I will, of course, happily lend him ride on one of my boats for all of that wonderful money. It's kind of amazing when you think about it, right? 
He gave me 100 gold. Right? That's the income of the King of Lombardy for like three years' income. Three years! This entire kingdom. It's, it's a weird mix of things. Mm -hmm. I'm looking over here, and you know what I'm kind of thinking? I would have liked to have started off playing as, um... Could have been interesting to try being, um... The... Zoroastrians. Because this shattering is... Could go a long way. Now oh, what's this? Rest it. Oh. Well, there goes my dwarf. And he was doing so well. It's okay though. I have my half brother who's ready and raring to go. It's my son, my bastard son. Right. Something he's got to struggle while he is a bastard. No surprise there. It's hard work. Oh, what are you up to, buddy? Oh, the Byzantines are trying to expand. Ah, they did lose some land up here, so I'm not too surprised. Important new decisions. What am I... Oh, yeah. Keep... All right. Treatment for my illness. Right. Because I am horribly diseased. My life is in your hands. You did so well for me before. See, fussy, rowdy, willful. Uh... Ooh, a mysterious potion. The talk potion was easy to ingest. You could not understand why this is a risky treatment. I should never have trusted him. Ooh, a horrible treatment. So now, I'm at minus six health. Minus seven health. I am not going to last long. Nope. <laughs> I did not last long as anticipated. So, all right then. Maurizio Galbio has been elected new doge of the Republic of Venice. Okay. But he's no longer Spymaster. Duke. Uh, there we are. Doge Leon has given up the ghost at 64, died of cancer. Though not especially blessed, we hope you'll find peace in the afterlife. Doge Maurizio II, surrounded by enemies and rivals. We hope that his rule is not struck short by means of a dagger in the back. Well, that's suspicious. Long live Doge Maurizio II. All right, well, we need to take a moment then. To consider our options. And first of all, let's, let's pick an ambition. See the realm prosper. Peace for five years. Gain a point of stewardship. Worthwhile. Set crown to focus in Venezia. Yes, that's good to do. But council positions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, the wife goes to spy. You gonna collect ta oops. You gonna collect taxes, my new uh, my new steward. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I do need a court physician. I also now definitely have the money to build a university. Alright, so... 49 years old, eh? Hmm. Messer brings you word from Kassig, one of the priests residing there. His name is Geraldo, School of Informal Medicine. He's nerve and frankly insane. Uh, what's the worst that could happen? Right? Little madness. Never hurt anybody. Especially as I go to study the stars. Now then, we must make a... Um, we, we really do need to consider, though. 
find characters, men, uh, any, uh, great house, my dynasty, alright, men, men of my dynasty, I'm gonna pick somebody. We're just, we're considering our options. And you know, Maurizio seems a much better choice. He's a bit of a sneak. On the other hand, Ottavio, my cousin, in three years' time, will be, looks like he could be doing quite well. Ottavio, eh? May wisdom ever elude you. This is a form of declaration of war. Armies from each other feel a battle. And I've gained a point. Well, that's a little unexpected. Um, embargo war. Offer peace. Surrender. I don't particularly want to go through an embargo war right now. May wisdom ever elude you. Accept your offer peace. So what happened is he blew up a bunch of my trade posts, as you can see here. Luckily, I only had one trade post in his lands. So we were embargoed, so we'll leave that as is for now. So. Uh, the money, it, it did not significantly impact me. Pick an ambition. Oh, right, I was at war. Build a war chest. Yay, we built a war chest. Hoorah! Um, yeah, you know what? Paragon of Virtue, and you know what? To try and help me achieve that goal, I'm going to build a secluded shrine. And I'm going to... Build another merchant enclave. There we go. Since he has that impacted, eh, not a significant reduction of our wealth. Could have done a whole lot worse. There you are. Here you are, Uncle. You're married again. Or married, I'm sorry to say. We kept our land safe, is the important thing. And if anything, it just kind of screwed over our rivals. See? They've all lost their wealth. It's all about diversification. As any good businessman, as any good doge will tell you. Uh, what's this? Hmm. Ah, my... Right, of course, I need to fund... Forgot about that. Let us fund... Um, I must, I must fund my, uh... My beloved uncle taking over. Oh, more learning. Good. More points. Yes. Excellent. Coming along nicely. So yeah, I've got to. I'm gonna be spending money now until I can uh, ensure I maintain control over Venice. Uh, because, because, because the Galbio family, we are staying in charge. It's the only way Venice is going to prosper. And on that note, we're taking a little break. Um, just want to check something. Ah. So, we may be making another invasion of the Serbians next time. So we can take over uh, the city of the city of Veglia. For now, let's take a break. See everybody soon.